cuando el Creador nos puso en este mundo a cuidar la tierra, ¿verdad? Se hizo una carrera. ¿verdad? Pues no tanto de competir, ¿verdad? convivir, ¿verdad? estar en armonía con la naturaleza. Por eso es que pues, llevamos en la sangre de correr. Mexico. These are the Barrancas del Cobre, or the Copper Canyons. The canyon systems are large and one mile deep in some places. We travel through them to get to the territory of the indigenous people of the region, the Raramuri, a quiet, humble people known for turning these canyons into their running playground. Cuiteco a small village nestled below two valleys. I'm here to meet Catalina Rascón, a 14-year-old rising star in the ultra-marathon world. It's a form of trail running the Raramuri have been doing for centuries. We followed Catalina on this morning as she went about a typical school day. This exchange spoke volumes about them. En 60 kilómetros y en Urique en 80 kilómetros. Okay. Cerocawi en 60 kilómetros y en Urique en 80 kilómetros. En Cerocawi, en la comunidad de Cerocawi en los 60 kilómetros, en Urique en los 80 kilómetros, en Huachochi en los 100 kilómetros. ¿Cómo va? ¿O un grabador así? Grabar esas preguntas para no estar ahí. The school curriculum is rather typical: math, Spanish, and an emphasis on the Raramuri culture. Today's lesson is how to conduct an interview. Every Monday, Catalina and her friends walk three hours to go to school to spend the week. A veces que vengo de mi casa y digo, ay, yo no quiero dejar a mi familia, a mi mamá, a mi papá, a mis hermanas, a mis sobrinas y todo, la familia. Pero pues tengo que salir adelante con la escuela y pues acá vengo a la escuela y los viernes pues voy muy emocionada de vuelta para mi casa. As with indigenous cultures across the world, the Raramuri way of life is being redefined from generation to generation. Old ways slowly replaced with new losing something along the way. Is that one? Yes. It's like a maple syrup. It's good. Really good. Maria is a Raramuri elder. She shares some of her cooking with me and spoke of the recent history of her people. Antes, como no teníamos, no, no había escuelas antes, no había. Era puro indígena, vivía, vivía puro laramuri aquí. Puro laramuri vivía. Entonces esos laramuris eran muy trabajadores. Todos los trincheros quisieron ir al, alrededor de la, de la iglesia. Era puro laramuri. 
traían su piedra de, de, de su casa para construir esa, esa cerco de la iglesia. Venían de, de por allá, usaban de esos canastas. Dicen que mi abuelita me platicaba, usaban esta canastita, hacían los tejidos. Ahí le echaban las piedras y ya iban a la cabeza y los traían. Y ahora ya no, ya no hacemos nada. Todo eso ya estamos haciendo para un lado nuestras tradiciones. One such tradition is running. Running is what they did to stay healthy. They ran for inter-community communication and even hunting down deer. That involved running at a slow pace, keeping the animal moving until it collapsed from its internal organs overheating. It was a different time. Their spirituality is celebrated in traditional races. They are not a thing of the past, but nowadays, less frequent. Todos los rancherías bajaban aquí al pueblo. Hacía sus tradiciones, carreras, hombres y mujeres. Íbamos aquí de la iglesia. Y ahí partíamos. Íbamos para allá, por toda la carretera, hasta allá. Y daban vuelta allá, otra vez para acá, hasta allá. Carlos is a nurse, which makes it natural for him to seek out to heal what needs healing. He started an after-school program to address the declining interest in the Raramuri running tradition among the youth. En cuestión de salud una brigada juvenil que se le llama que el objetivo es eso de rescatar. Arriba. Para que pues no se pueda perder, ¿no? Porque es la identidad que nos da como seres humanos, como los que somos. Carlos prepares the kids for opportunities running may bring them in the future. And an upcoming event will be just that. The event they're planning for is a Caballo Blanco Ultra. It is by no definition a traditional race, but has become a must-run event for the Raramuri. Caballo Blanco, or White Horse, is named after an American runner and founder of the event, Micah True. It was Micah's vision to bring runners to run in peace with the Raramuri. Micah died in 2012, days after the 10th edition of the race while on a run in New Mexico. He wanted to share his enthusiasm for running and inspire people from all directions to run free in the beauty of the Copper Canyons. The Caballo Blanco Ultra is his legacy. For Catalina, the race is a chance to test her nerves. In the carreras de Caballo Blanco, pues, me siento pues muy ner nerviosa porque veo personas de otros países, de otros lugares, pues, pero también emocionada para correr y conocer otros compañeros que vienen de otros lugares. Corredores. Miguel Lara is Catalina's uncle. They are both from a community where the tradition of running remains strong. Miguel has won multiple ultra events and finished in second place in the 2014 Caballo Blanco Ultra. Pues, me no se siente orgulloso de bueno de ser de ser campeón. Fue llegué y me sentí así bien jodido así con sueños y así. Pues hasta que me quedé dormido en la silla y así me quedé y así estoy todo ahí.
Mi madre todo el tiempo ha sido campeón de... Pues en la carrera de esa de Arigüeta tradicional que la hacen aquí. Cada carrera que hacían aquí, aquí entre yo, entre la comunidad aquí. Tiene nombre. Por eso digo que yo siempre vengo de... Por la herencia de mi mamá, porque ella todo el tiempo ha sido corredora. Pues aquí la vida no, pues no... Difícil no ha estado, pues... Pero sí lo difícil que hemos estado, pues, por el dinero, pero la comida nunca nos ha hecho falta. To be competitive, Miguel must sacrifice the traditional footwear worn by his ancestors. These traditional running sandals, called huarachis, are traded in for modern footwear. At the bottom of these canyons is the town of Urique. That's where the Caballo Blanco Ultra will be held. With visitors coming from across the world, this weekend's event is a much needed and rare economic opportunity. Nos ha dado la oportunidad de agarrar un poquito de dinerito y así pues ya. Y así le voy ayudando yo lo demás la familia también. Miguel and his family walk six hours from their village carrying everything they will need for the weekend. One by one, they take turns carrying the baby. With international runners coming into Raramuri territory, Miguel feels internal pressure to represent himself and his people with pride. Ahí en Ubique como para ir a presentar como la gente indígena nomás ahí y para que le echen más gana a los demás, gente indígena también. Y por eso es que siempre le echo gana para que los demás se animen a correr también, para que vean que sí se puede. While Catalina and Miguel are expected, there are no fanfares or special privileges. Saturday morning. It's race day for the kids. Catalina is ready. The kids' race is a mere four kilometers, a short stroll compared to the distances Catalina is used to running. Her feet pop off the ground as she cruises to a comfortable lead. <laughs> Running comes naturally for Catalina and she finishes first but her time of glory will be cut short. Peace is fragile in the canyon. For 12 years, the Caballo Blanco race defied unspoken truths about Mexico. Mexico can be a dangerous place. Drug wars between rival cartels is real. This reality was a risk race organizers never had to concern themselves with as though an unwritten truce was agreed upon, and year after year, international tourists traveled without fear or incident. This was no other year. Rumors of extreme violence in neighboring villages led race organizers with a difficult decision to make. Something is going on since yesterday, and the community of Wafalina, neighbors of us, and we don't know exactly what's going on. There was violence overnight and disappearances, and our questions weren't being answered. Maria Walton is the widow of Micah True. 
People are here to run free. People are here to run in peace without fear. And that's the only reason why Micah created this race. Peace, hope, harmony, love, and beauty of running free among all cultures. And I would feel selfish, guilty, and greedy continue a race where there might be harm to anyone. The best for everybody is just to cancel the race tomorrow. We're heartbroken. This year is not happening. So this is hurting us pretty bad. Sí, sí, vamos a participar y pues ya corrimos en la mañana, ya participamos y ya pues mañana ahí vamos a divertirnos todavía el día de mañana y ahorita. Pero como no se puede, pues nos tenemos que ir a la Sierra de Dos. Pues es difícil ¿verdad? vivir en esta situación. Este, no podemos ya pues confiar en nadie, sí, en el gobierno, sí, pues ya nadie, ¿no? Ya, la cuestión estamos muy erradicados, ya no podemos hacer nada, ¿no? entonces pues... Just who governs or makes decisions in Mexico is as complicated as it is unstable. To re-establish control of the race and perhaps send the message to drug lords about who governs the region, only hours after announcing the decision to cancel the race, a new announcement is made. The local and state government decide the race will be run. It's Sunday morning. Who will stay and run and who will leave is still in question. For Miguel, his decision is to run. run on dirt roads, up mountains, down mountains. Some wear rarachis. They take small, short steps and cover the long distance with quiet resolve. Miguel and his mother glide through the course. They are experienced veterans of the distance, focused, cool, and collected against the elements. The beauty of the mountain ranges, along with watching them run, clouds any reminders of the violence that hangs over the race. To be a champion doesn't always require winning. Miguel will finish eighth, but represent his people and culture like the champion he is. To witness the Raramuri run with such determination is astonishing, freeing, and sad at the same time. Their reputation as a great running culture is legitimate, but at that moment, I wonder, have they become pawns in a game to attract tourists to a region desperate for economic activity? Do they run to share their culture, or do they run for survival? Races like the Caballo Blanco are part of the new reality they need to deal with. Visitors will come and go, but the running people have been here since creation, and they're not going anywhere. 
As I see quiet and humble people running with their ancestors, my doubts dissipate. To see old and young spreading across the canyon makes me at peace. I witness a whole nation connecting with the land. Their footsteps are gently making their way through the beauty of the mountains, and in spite of drug lords and economical worries, Raramuri, like Miguel and Catalina, will keep running. <laughs>